Hi everyone, this is Jonathan Baumgart, Atomic Consulting, and uh, this is going to be the first in a video series on the essential components uh, to launch a Forex broker. And I'm just going to jump right in. Uh, what I want to talk about is the company registration and banking aspect of the business. Logically, I think this is the best place to start because if you're opening up a new Forex broker, whether you are completely new to the business or you're an IB or a fund manager, most likely it involves a new registration of a company. Now, it's important to understand though that where you register the business may not be the jurisdiction you're living or potentially the jurisdiction where you're targeting clients. So you can't just open a company anywhere. Uh, one of the reasons you can't open a company in any region you want as many of them require licenses. And if you're just starting off, although we're happy to help you with the license, you may not need it to start. Um, that's very much a case by case basis. The bottom line though, is you're gonna have to register a business somewhere. Uh, we have a few key jurisdictions that we suggest, but we really need to know more about your business, uh, what your goals are, the regions that you're targeting and, uh, you know, the type of entity or model you wish to operate. All those play a factor uh, in deciding which is the best place to register the company. Uh, so we always suggest working with a consulting firm because it's quite difficult to navigate all the jurisdictions around the world and to understand if the region you want requires a license or if you can just set up a simple company. Uh, the other component which is very important is banking. Um, obviously, if you're gonna have uh, a Forex broker, your clients have to wire money to you um, or you know, use a different payment method. If you don't have a bank account, then how can the business function? You know, uh, How can your clients send money to you? So this is another crucial aspect. I always like to mention upfront that uh, banking has become more difficult than it once was uh, for new brokers. It's not impossible, but all the more reason to partner up and work with a firm who's very familiar with the latest changes in the industry. Uh, in terms of banking options, it all depends on what regulatory status the business has, the regions you wish to target, uh, and then we can determine what's available. In general, bank wires are possible, although credit card, debit card, Skrill, NetTeller, and other types of payment services have become more difficult uh, if you're a brand new broker starting off without a license. Either way, it's best to speak with us because things are constantly changing. What was working even five months ago may not apply anymore. So in general, uh, I think the company registration and banking aspect are the first point to begin with because you need to know where you're going to set up the company and how you're going to get a bank account. Everything else that we'll discuss, like software, websites, support, all of that is going to be based on this company registration and setup. That's why we suggest discussing it first. Uh, so keep watching uh, and look at our next chapter, our next subject topic to get to what I feel is the next most important point. So looking forward to hearing from you.